Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I want to do an episode today using the IDL and setting up the Ford FE head for uh, to do guide work, okay? Um, I know I've already showed several uh, videos on the IDL. Um, the last one I showed, I think, or one of them that I showed about setting how to set the cylinder head up on the machine, it was a canted valve. So this being the inline, I just thought I haven't showed that yet. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is, the, is I need to machine these guides out. I'm not going to machine them on this video, but I'm going to do the setup to machine them. Uh, these are 3 8 guides, and someone's already put liners in them, and actually they don't feel bad, but I'm not a liner guy. So I'm going to machine them out, plus I want to go 11 30 seconds, okay? A little smaller stem, a little more airflow around the stem, a little lighter valve. So anyway, that's what I want to do here, be my first step, is to machine those out. So I just thought I'd show how to set it up on the machine. Um, the IDL has always been known for a long time now since all the modern stuff came out to be a slower setup than than of course the modern technology and stuff with seat guide machines we have now i do have a winona which isn't really considered that modern it's an older winona and um i don't believe the setup time is much faster than the idl and i i prefer the idl as far as seat and guide work over the Winona, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to show ba the basic setup, okay? And then, uh, and then uh, that'll be that. So, basically you got your, your head stands, you got your cylinder head, so you just need to put the, the cylinder head needs to be put on here and fastened down so you can do your machining. Uh, there's a couple ways of doing this. Uh, <clears throat> some guys like to put this already up here while the head's standing up and attach that one and this one and then lay it down but all what I do is I just kind of push it apart you know just push them apart and then grab the cylinder head and as always I always put my exhaust away from me okay so I just kind of feel where it needs to sit in that pad and I just slide the head down until it kind of drops in that one that's all there was to it and you can see I don't even have my hands on it. So I know that it's actually sitting on the pads. I'm not far off or anything. Um, so, but you really don't want to walk away with it sitting like that, of course. There is that chance of it falling, but that's a good sign that I'm already pretty squ squaring up. Now, you would get whatever cones you need. Some little tapered cones. Just drop those on. Then I grab my tie bars. I call these tie bars. I don't know the professional name for it. Drop it in, a couple of turns, and then I try to pull up. If I can't pull up, then I know I'm in. So I go all the way down until it stops, then I back up a couple of threads, and then I spin down the lock, okay? <clears throat> Same here. Cut this one here, drop it in, just kind of, okay? Couple threads, feels good. I go all the way down, so it stops, back up a couple, run that down. Okay, that's that's basically it. All right, and if you have good grip, you can grip these, you know, and tighten them where you want them, or you can use channel locks, but just don't bear down on them. Okay, now I already got the tool in here. This has got a swivel on it. Find your cord drill you're going to use. Okay. And let's just put it in this one. Uh, then you have what they call this guide here. And if you notice, it'll say drill on it. I don't know if, if you can see it in there or not. And it has a size, okay? And that's going to be for the size I'm wanting to use. It's going to go over this to help guide. Then you just need to find a another big cone that you prefer to fit in there. And basically, they're put together. All right, slide the head over until you just kind of knock it around until you're comfortable. Okay. Looks good, looks good. Then you pull this arm over, drop this arm down. I'll, I'll show a, a 
more closer look here in a minute. And you lock that arm down. That kind of stabilizes everything. And right there, okay? And this swivels, so I just kind of help it with my hand like that. But it's there. And that's it. And then you're ready to go. You're ready to rock and roll. Um, so basically, let me see if I can... So here's your tie bar. This goes into there, into there, the other one here, into here. Here's stabilize a bar, whether they want to call it. Again, I don't know all the professional. Been using this machine, like I say, running an IDL for 40 years, don't know the name of everything. Then you just that clamps right down on that, and then here you have your shaft. Okay, and that's in there like this. So basically, yes, and I used the white Nona for a storage, it looks like, with gaskets on top. Good table. And that's that, all right? So anyway, guys, that's how that is. And it didn't take long to set up, as you can see. Now, if I wasn't talking, making a video, if I just like, wanted to come in here and do this, if, I bet I could have done it in less than two minutes, right? So anyway, that's the setup. You machine them, put your new guides in, and you're ready to go to your seat work if you're going to change inserts. All right? Uh, hope you got a little out of that, and I'll catch you on next round. Thanks.